Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drug Tech Reviews and welcome back to the very first video of 2022. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a long-term review of the Pitaka new Mac Easy Case Pro for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I do not have my iPhone 13 Pro Max with me now because I already sold it off in favor of the iPhone 13 Pro just because of size. Because it's a daily phone, I believe that the iPhone 13 Pro is just nice and you do not have to sacrifice camera tech as well. So I decided to go with the iPhone 13 Pro and sell off my iPhone 13 Pro Max. But anyways, we are here to review and give my long-term impressions of the Pitaka new Mac Easy Case Pro and how it's held up in about roughly about two months, uh, two to three months of usage. All right, so before we begin the review, a sub to the channel would definitely be awesome. And also ding the notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And let's get right on with the review. Okay, so to begin the review, let's talk about things that I do not like about this case, which is very few, in fact, uh, if you compare with many other competitors. All right, so when it comes to what I don't like is I do not like the holes. I still stand firm in my belief that there shouldn't be cutouts in the buttons. I mean, yes, it's very tactile, no doubt about it, but yeah, it just uh, catches a lot of lint and the lint gets into the button on the underside of the case. And it just uh, looks really dirty when I take it off, especially because I'm the OCD type and I do take off this case uh, every once a week, roughly, to actually take a look and see whether there's any dirt that needs to be cleaned out. And I always find like tons of dust getting trapped in. Uh, so there's something I really do not like about this case. Another thing which I do not like is, you can see right here, the oil stains. Yeah, um, that might not really pick up on camera, but in person, I believe that it kind of ruins the look of the case but uh, of course it's easy to clean off you get a um, warm wet towel and it just goes off but I mean you have to take the extra step in maintaining the case so I wish they made it slightly rougher something like the Mac Easy case 2 so that's something I do like about that texture is slightly rough compared to this really really smooth matte texture uh, but anyway, that's personal preference, but yeah, I, that's something I really uh, I really do not like about the finishing. But other than that, the, um, the case really is a really good case overall. Okay, so coming to the things which I like about this case, which is a whole list of them. Number one is the super strong magnets on the back of this case. And of course, it comes with the alignment part right here at the bottom. So when I put it on my Mac Safe charger, or the MagSafe car mount, uh, it just works perfectly. Uh, it's no trouble trying to align the phone with the magnets. It just goes on straight, portrait mode right there. So very simple and very nice. Uh, lay on the table protection wise, uh, I wish it was slightly more because I do use a tempered glass screen protector, but other than that, uh, I have no issues. I have dropped the phone a couple of times uh, from around uh, waist height uh, in this case. and. This case actually held up really well. You can see right here, no scuffs, nothing, no dings. On this case, it just looks flawless, of course, except because of the oil marks. If you clear that off, clean that off, it looks like a brand new case. So that's what I like about this case. It's really durable. But yeah, I mean, if you're considering the price, yes, this is a really good look and really, really durable. So I do like the lip on the camera side of things. So you can see right here, uh, it's more than adequate. Of course, if you do use a tempered glass lens protector with your iPhone, definitely you're going to be almost flush with uh, this raised area, but not an issue because it's a protector for a reason. You can actually just take it out and change it out with no problems. So the cutouts uh, overall has been spotless. Everything has been perfect till today. Uh, the past three months has been a real breeze using this case. Uh, buttons are absolutely tactile. The mute and ring toggle is easy to get to and overall the case fits on the iphone like a glove so it's really really good in terms of the fitment wise and uh yeah i do like the microfiber lining they do have on the phone and the best part about this microfiber lining you might thinking that like you know what if dust gets into the microfiber portion and gets trapped but in my testing the only part which actually had dust get into was the cutouts so the mute and ring toggle the buttons of course these small slits right here on both sides 
and on the pots at the bottom i mean that's pretty normal for a case but in terms of the dust actually trying to get into the microfiber portion of the device definitely not happening uh, because i believe that the magnets actually keep the phone sealed onto the case really well and that promotes like the sturdiness of this case as well so it's a win-win situation so overall the last three months i've been using this case has been really really good really really awesome and i definitely can't recommend this case enough to you guys who really want to pick up a daily case which has drop protection has magsafe of course there are people who do not like the carbon fiber design but uh yeah for me i'm a car guy so definitely carbon fiber is my blood so i do like carbon fiber on my stuff so yes this color is a bit understated but overall has been doing the job really well so if you are looking for a clean look on your device of course no fancy branding just a very small pitaka logo which is very understated and i do like that you're looking for a very clean simple design and just works as a daily case definitely you have to pick this case up but of course you're not going to be expecting like really really tough uh like 11 foot 15 foot drop protection this is uh military standard a10g so you know it has definitely has its limits so in terms of the price wise um yes it's on the hefty side but if you compare this with the whole line of pitaka cases i believe this is the value for money one uh it has protection it has style it has max safe it also has the aramid fiber backing so i mean you're not losing out on anything except you added on protection so overall this case i can definitely give it a five star uh, in my book so i definitely be looking to test more of this series in the future for the iphone 14 15 well, who knows uh, what they're going to name it anyway so this has been a really quick video on my thoughts about this case after three months so that's all for this video hope you guys like it if you did like it do hit the thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and i'll see you guys in the next video